G'day guys, welcome back. Another placemat for you today. And I'm going to do it in these colours. This was my little test piece that I did, my tile. I do like to do a little test colour first to see if it works. So this one is Payne's Grey, Turquoise, Black, White, Silver, Brown. Now you can't really see the brown. I don't know where it's gone. It's just, it's gone. There's tiny little bits in there. So I'm going to see if I can add a little bit more brown to it. So that's the colour scheme I'm going with today. And I can show you a couple of dried pieces. That was the brown one that I did, brown and gold, dried beautifully. And it's little matching baby, mummy and baby. So that was the brown set. And this one is the turquoise pink and peach a little bit of peach showing through not as much as I would have liked a little bit more there and it's baby so again the peach didn't really show up as well as I would have liked I should have put it directly under the white cell activator and it would have shown up more but that's it there uh, once they have cured I'll resin them and then I'll lay them out on my table my dining table and I'll show you the whole set now people are still asking me what I'm using um, for my blower it is this here rotating hot airbrush Oops, stuck to the tape so I just get this from Kmart but I'm sure you can buy them from Amazon or whatever it comes with a couple of brush attachments in the box I don't use the brush attachments put them back in the box chuck them out whatever you want to do so this is it here this one actually comes it's it's attached some of them um, you'll be able to get detachable ones maybe the more expensive ones this one is attached I got wire snippers and I just cut it off and there's a little wire that comes in there as well because this is rotating so it's got a little wire snip it off put a medicine cup I'll grab one this is what I used a little plastic medicine cup I cut the bottom out um, I didn't cut the hole outside just the inner section there stuck that on with some tape and uh, there it is that's what I use okay right so I'm getting a bit over answering questions every day about what it is so that's what it is all right uh, let's get to pouring oops there's a bag um, I'm going to do the placemat first this is a 40 centimeter or 16 inch I'm just trying to center it on there I think that feels about right and then I've got the little coaster as well I've got some frog tape on the back so it doesn't uh, sort of get all over the back. And um, yeah, we'll get, get going. So this one in particular, this one, I don't know if you can see that there because it's covered in paint. If I put that on one, the light does not show up. But if I put it on two, the light shows up. So that's hot. It's a little bit lower, but it's hot. On, on cool, I mean, it's still, it's still warm, yes. It doesn't blow cold air. Um, it's kind of warm, but it's not as hot. Um, where's my color paint? I haven't got my color paint organized. I'll use my can. So that's my pillow paint. It's the British Paints Wall Low Sheen paint. Um, and get my gloves on and we'll get this going. So today is Saturday, um, so I guess you'll see this pour tomorrow on Sunday because I've already put one up today. <laughs> um, yeah, just, so just having the day off today and take all the lids off my bottle. So just bear with me one sec. I put them in these little squeeze bottles because it's easier to pour out. But when I'm pouring onto a bigger surface, I don't want to use the nozzle I'd rather just pour them out 
Yes, yeah, so uh, Saturday. I'll be doing some painting this morning. I've got some friends coming over for dinner tonight. Um, there won't be a lot of us. <laughs> We're not in quarantine or anything just yet. Um, yeah, so it should be a fun night. I'm doing Mexican kind of a night tonight. Having a, a layered dip. Have you seen the layered Mexican dips? You have a layer of refried beans and then you have a layer of um, sour cream. Well, the Mexican beans I put in um, some of the salsa. And then you've got the, the avocado and the sour cream and the cheese. It's yummy. And then you dip into it with your, your corn chips. So that's the entree, like dips while we're sitting outside. And then afterwards, I'm doing a Mexican lasagna in a round tin. And you put layers of tortillas and mince and cheese. Um, and then you bake it in the oven. And then when it comes out, it's like a, a round, like a round cake. But it's a lasagna and you can actually slice it. It's very yummy. So they're having that for mains. And then for dessert, we've got um, caramel flan. Not a creme caramel, it's a caramel flan that you turn upside down and you do get that um, caramel syrupy yumminess. But um, it's, it's sweeter. So that was my Payne's Grey. And then there's the turquoise and then there's the black. And then there's a hair in there, as usual. I don't know where it's coming from. Just things flying around in the air, hey. Um, and now I want to have um, some more turquoise. But let's ziggy zaggy. And then we'll put the brown on and ziggy zaggy the other way. So you can still see the colours coming up through from underneath. And now I haven't got any Payne's Grey in the middle there because it's all going to be on the outside. So let's put a little bit more there. And just a touch more of the, the turquoise. So I want to be able to see the, all the different colours coming through from underneath. And then we'll go with our silver. Again, don't want to block all the other colours. So silver. And then the white. And the last time I had trouble with it, I had to do this four times. Did you guys see that? I put too much white on. Couldn't blow properly. <laughs> All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. My gosh. All right, let's get straight onto this before it sinks. Again, not my best blow. <clears throat> Get in there with the little dude. I don't like it when I blow my lacing out too much. But that, that should still be okay, hopefully. I really don't want to have to redo these over and over and over. By the, you know, I've done them enough that I should know how to do it. But every time you do it, it's a little bit different. It really is. Now, again, I don't want to wait till my middle there, the middle lacing gets too big. Because then when I spin, they get too big and it looks, looks a bit weird. Um, I like them to kind of stay not too big. The middle ones tend to be a little bit bigger anyway than these outer ones. But I just don't want them getting too big in the centre. So it will spin shortly. But um, I'm loving those colours. See a little bit of brown there. 
Right. That's so pretty. You don't want to spin it. All right, let's go. Whoa, look at that big umbrella of white. Didn't that look good? Would have loved to see that in slow motion. Oh, look at that. That's really pretty. Love doing these. So now, as you can see, I've got the line there and a the line there and a the line there. So I will need to spin again, get a little bit more paint off. That was because I didn't blow as good as I could have and, you know, push the white way over all the colours. That's why I ended up with those stripies on the sides. Um, oh, almost there, almost there, a little bit there I need to get. A little bit there. All right, let's go again. Hopefully that's enough to cover all my sides. Yep, they're all covered. And the brown's showing up a little bit more on that one, which is nice. So that was the tile. You can see more paints gray on that one, can't you? Can't see a lot of the paints gray on this one, actually. The turquoise has kind of taken over. Hmm. I think I'm going to go again. You know what it's like. You're not happy. Go again. The, there's sections here where I blew my lacing out too much. See, I haven't got any lacing there. And I don't have as much paints grey as I would have liked. Now, I find that I have to scrape. Otherwise, I leave too much paint on the surface. Um, and then it tends to crack the centre. The CA tends to crack. So I think it's better just to start afresh. I should just come in with the video on the second one, shouldn't I? Because my first one, I always seem to have to practice. I forget. <laughs> Spin that out just a little bit. Okay, and a little puddle in the middle for the colours to sit on. And after this one, I'm going to go again with another colour scheme. All right, let's put the panes grey down. And the turquoise. I might put less turquoise this time because I really want the main focus to be the panes grey. Um, all right, a little bit of dribble like so and then let's dribble with the brown and then the paint's grey again all right I'm not going to put any more turquoise on let's go with the silver All right, and not too much white this time. One, two, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I think I might put the lid on you. You're just coming out way too fast for me this morning. Okay, here we go. Gently does it. Very gently blow the white over the top of your other colours, not too forcefully or you'll break your lacing. I'm going to let that white, I'm going to let that white come in a little bit because I want to go up that way. I don't want to disturb that lacing so I just wait for it to come back a little bit I think. Or maybe I use my little guide, I'll see what happens. I'm going to break all my lacing if I use the big one. I'm going to go with the little one. 
and just go through here, parting of the seas. No. See, you don't want to overstretch your, your lacing. Oh, now I'm kind of stuck because I've got all that white in the middle. And I've got nowhere to blow it because if I blow it this way, I'm going to disrupt all that lacing. I'll just blow a little bit in the middle and see if I can get some more to come up in the middle. But not blow it away too much. There we go. Yeah, the little guys are really handy. It's called a fan, a barbecue fan blower. I get it on eBay. Um, so if you need one of those, if you're doing a little a little tile um, or you know a small piece or just blowing little areas grab yourself one of those they're really really handy um, because yeah the, the big hair dryers they're just too strong uh, my hair dryer was 2000 watts this is 1000 watts and um, it had a quite a wide opening that's why I had to put the little medicine cup on the, the bottom just to kind of um, direct the the blow in a smaller line Look at that, we're getting some lovely lacing in the middle there. Now I'm going to spin that because I don't want those to grow too big, hey? Because they'll look weird in the middle if they're too big. You need a lot of paint in your pillow. Oh, on top of your pillow, your, your puddles, you know? You need a lot of paint. Otherwise you're overstretching everything to get to the edges. So just make sure you put enough of your puddle in the middle. That's look. That's good. That's better than the first one. Hey, go the other way. I think we can see more Payne's grey this time. We can definitely. All right, I need to get off a little bit more. There it goes. And then I'll do my coaster. Yeah, that's better. Much better. There's a tiny little bit there. I can go one more time. You don't want to go too many times because you stretch everything out a lot. But that was the blow again. That was the side I didn't get very good with the blow. So you need your white to very, very gently just skim over the top of your colors oh look at that it's gone yay oh my gosh I love that one love it love it love it it's got one section there that's got no lacing you know when I, I broke my my lacing when I was blowing but that's okay I can deal with that one area that's nothing is it that's really pretty and we've got that area of black there we've got some of the chocolate brown we've got turquoise everywhere Got the panes grey popping through everywhere and we've got that beautiful white centre. <clears throat> Somewhere for the eye to rest. It's kind of like it's starburst in the middle and then out. Alright, let me just run my little tool around the outside. And then I'll put him over on the floor in front of the window. And I'll do the coaster. I'll just put you on pause while I do that and get set up for the coaster and I'll be right back. Isn't she pretty? Or does it have to be a he because it's in blues? <laughs> Oh, so I've got my little cake spinner down, my little baby one. And I've got some tape there, double-sided. Let's pop him on. There we go. Okay. Um, now, I didn't show you my colours, did I? So they're all Joe Sonia's. That's the Payne's Grey. The turquoise, I used aqua with just a little blob of phthalo blue. And that turns it to more of a turquoise. Uh, black. Raw umber. Metallic silver. 
if you've been following my series, they all need to have black, white cell activator, um, a metallic, and then whatever colours I choose. Cell activator is Floetrol, three parts Floetrol to one part titanium white in the Amsterdam. Okay, so those are my colours. Got a little bit of pillow paint still left in here that I'll use for the little coaster because I don't need a lot. So I don't want to pour out from my big tin because that would just make a big mess, <clears throat> won't it? It's probably probably enough. Make sure you've got enough to actually spread out because the white pillow is going to spread your colours out to the edge. I put my nozzles back on because you know, I only want a little bit of paint. Paints grey, turquoise, a little bit of black, just a touch. Black's quite overpowering. Mm. And then a little bit more of the turquoise, just like that. So when you're doing your puddles, Make sure that your puddle is about a third of the size of your surface. So you've got a third there, a third there, and a third there. That's what I do anyway. Make sure that I've got enough paint. Otherwise, you won't have enough paint to get to the edges and you'll find you've got a lot of white on the edges because you haven't got enough paint to cover the surface. So make sure your puddle is a third of the size of whatever surface you're working on. Obviously, the bigger the surface, the more you're going to need. I need a little bit of white for that one. And I'll use my little barbecue blower. Gently push the white over the top of your colours. Don't break your lacing up. Get it right to the edge of your colours if you can. Push it right over. It needs to be thin enough. Your cell activator needs to be thin enough that it will easily glide over your paints. If it's too thick, you're not going to be able to push it over, it won't glide over. Just in the middle. Oops, I touched it. Oh my gosh. I touched in the middle. I don't know if that's going to ruin the whole thing or not. We shall see. What happens? It's not much paint to waste, you know, if I need to do another one, it's only a few a few little drops of paint, really. Um, now, if you had to try and blow with that, it would just be a disaster because you only want to get into your white. You don't want to blow your other colours. You only want to blow your white. So that would just be horrendous. It would blow everything all over the place. Um, yeah, so just want to blow your white over the top of your other colours. You don't want to blow your other colours. Right, let's go. That's not looking too bad in the middle at the moment, but once it's stretched out, it might look terrible. Woo! Moved, moved you. Just need to go again to get a little bit off their edges. <laughs> I keep moving it. It's not stuck down. The weight, it's not very heavy, so it's moving a bit. Because it's such a little piece, anything that's sort of wrong really stands out like that there. It's too big. The lacing's too big. Mm. No, let's go again. That, that area there bugs me. 
Okay, let me wipe my hands. I should have used a tool, shouldn't I, to clean that off. You're getting four pores out of one video. I don't think you mind though, do you? Not too much. When I'm learning how to do something, you know, I'll watch lots and lots of videos and I'm, I'm actually grateful when people show me things that don't work so that you know what not to do, you know. It's helpful seeing what doesn't work as well as what does work. And then you know, or if something doesn't work, then you go, oh, that's why that happens. Now I can understand. Whoops, what am I doing next? My brown next. And a little more pains. And the silver. Because the silver's right under the white, it just looks white. You don't see a lot of the silver really. Okay, a little bit of white, not too much, not too much. I think I might have had a bit much white last time too. I couldn't blow it all out. It was puddling too much. You only need such a tiny little bit of white for such a little coaster. Hmm. I haven't got much. I haven't got much left over here. Look at that. I wonder if I can put a touch more on. Or this may be a redo. Yeah, I'm not getting anything under there now because I blew my colour too much. Um, all right, that's going to be a, a redo. Let's use my tool. I'm not going to get my gloves too dirty. Okay. That wasn't enough white that time. Still got enough paint though to go again because you only use a little bit. Paints grey, turquoise. Turquoise next, so I don't want to put dark against light. So, and then some brown with my brown in my hand, a bit more panes, silver. All right, a little bit of white, but a bit more than last time. There we go. Should be all right. Straight down, try and spread it a little bit first, and then off you go. And I'll try not to put my tool in it this time because I ruined the first one by sticking the tool in a fan blower into the paint. Okay, whoa, that's looking good. That's I think that's gonna be a keeper. Hope so. Let's just move everything over. Oops, no, can't move it over yet. My middle's still stuck. You gotta be careful not to um you know move it too much if your middle's still stuck, because everything else is gonna get a little bit elongated. If you're gonna move it, wait till the, the middle's let go, like released, and then you can. 
otherwise it stays still and everything else kind of gets stretched. Right, I think I've got enough paint there to cover everything. Pop. Mm. Kind of a little bit stretched out of shape there. Let me see if I can move everything back a bit. And I can get some paint off here where I'm wiggling my finger, my thumb. Oh dear, I need to try and stick that down with something. Just got to get that last little bit off. There we go, that was a good one. I had nothing to hold on to. Alright, I think I'm liking that one better. Got lacing right to the edges. Nothing's too like stretched out. Let me get him up. You can still see all the colours. Yes, I have got quite a bit of black there, and there's a bit of an overstretched one there, but. I think it's the best out of the, the three that I've done. I find it much harder doing little guys than I do the big guys. All right, let me pop him down here. And I'm going to see if I can just tilt that way a little bit. I don't know if there's any enough paint left on the surface. Just to stretch everything down a little bit. Not sure. I don't think it's going anywhere. All right, let's leave it. It'll do. It matches its mummy. It does. Oh, so now I'll touch the sides. Oh, be so careful not to touch the sides. All right, let me get you down. front of the window get some nice natural light in I think they look quite nice together they match well Let's zoom in on this one first the silver lacing underneath the white cell activator just helps to give that really pretty white look to the overall lacing. Look at the middle there. <laughs> it's really pretty, isn't it? So we can still see the brown. You can see the paint's grey. It has kind of a purpley tinge to it, doesn't it? Paint's grey. There's the little baby. A little bit of the lacing is a bit overstretched because I was trying to tilt it when the middle was not released, so yeah don't do that <laughs> wait till your middle releases before you tilt alrighty so there they are another set let me know if there's a color scheme that you'd like me to try I've got another two in mind but I still need a few more ideas so yeah let me know if there's a color scheme that you'd like me to do and I will try it all right thanks again for watching hope you're enjoying the series I will get back to doing some flip cups real soon in between these and I've got another project on the go as well which you'll see later okay thanks again for watching I'll see you real soon bye for now